What's up guys, it's Trevor with Embers Living. I am so stinking excited. Do you know why I'm excited? I deal with gas grills every day and even the coolest gas grills, I see them all. <sighs> Takes a lot to uh, get me excited about a gas grill. I'm so excited for this. This thing, this is a 42 inch gas grill. This, these two boxes is one Grill, one 42 inch gas grill. I know, how is it possible? I don't know. Heston, the brand Heston is as high end as it gets, but it's not just high end. What I know about this grill without actually getting my hands on it, this is the first time I'm gonna see it. It is so well designed. This is like G-Wagon status. Like you are way above Range Rover. You're like a fully loaded G-Wagon with this grill. I want this grill. This is what I want in my house. I haven't even seen it yet, I just know that. Let's put it together. I know what you're thinking. Your eyes aren't on the grill, they're on me. Got my hair cut. These guys took forever to put this grill together. Had to go get my hair cut while they were doing it. So, uh, uh, you guys weren't noticing, I know. This thing is gorgeous. What do you think, Elijah? This is one of the prettiest grills I've ever seen. I don't just, I don't throw out that word pretty very often. You know, grills have to look pretty good. You know, I've seen quite a few grills in my day. This one looks nice. What's really cool, besides the awesome curb appeal, is Heston makes a full line of indoor appliances as well, um, which we carry, by the way, a little plug. Um, so what's really sweet is if you had, did your whole kitchen in Heston, you could continue that theme all the way outside into your outdoor kitchen and just have everything uniform and look the same, which is awesome. So let's start with some of the exterior cosmetics on this grill, work our way up, and then we'll get inside under the hood and uh, talk about some awesome features there. So you can order this guy a couple different ways. You can order it with the tower cart that we have here. You can do it built in, like if you're building it into an island or an outdoor kitchen. And then you can also, they sort of have this cool little, uh, I don't know what you call it, but we'll show overlays, pictures. It's almost like a V style, like pull cart. And then this side is like a heavy duty, like side burner. So it's kind of unique. Um, I personally like the look. If you're gonna do a cart, I personally just think this is a lot more attractive and classy looking. Um, colors, so we put on the Pacific Fog. What did we, what color was that? Elijah doesn't know. Um, we put on the Pacific, let me turn the lights off. That way you can see the color a little bit better. There's like a dozen colors. Um, I think black looks really sharp in the pictures, um, or you could just do all classic stainless. If you do the classic stainless, it basically looks just like this handle because it has sort of a texture on it. We turn the lights back on. And then what did you think of the casters when you put those on? Nice casters, good rollable holes. Primo? Primo. Primo, okay. A lot of nice storage drawers. Very nice. Soft clothes. Of course. Of course they're soft clothes. Again here, you get a cool little smoker box, a couple little tools that come with it. You better for the price of the grill, am I right? The smoker box. Say it doesn't matter how hard you do that, it's gonna be soft clothes every time. And here, if you're on propane, you have a propane pull-out drawer. Otherwise, you just connect your natural gas line there. And then this is our drip liner here. Take a peek, see at that. And then here's our controls. Let's get a close-up on these. These are commercial grade. And they, I just like the font and everything. Maybe, maybe I'm just 
infatuated with this grill a little bit, but I like I like even the font. Or is it just me? I like it too. You like the font too? Oh yeah. Yeah. We can't underemphasize the importance of a good font, right? I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. Side shells, they're nice. They are retractable. Nothing to write home about, but they're pretty slick. This is the 42 inch. So this is the biggest it comes. It comes in a 42, 36, and a 30. Now in the tradition of top of the line type products, there's only one way to order this. There's no like downgraded models. You get three sizes, 30, 36, 42, and they are all loaded, loaded up. Actually, there's one feature you can change. I'll tell you that in a second. Okay, let's focus on the hood. First of all, look at this monster of a hood. Get a side angle of this. Just the, the craftsmanship. Look at that. How cool is that? Is it just me? It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Look, notice too how the, the grill hood comes all the way down and is flush with the control panel. Another cool little feature. Now they have their stadium lighting. So there's motion. There's no way to turn them on or off. They do their own thing and they turn on at 30 degrees. When it, boom, lights are on. Now what else is really cool, this hood is spring assisted and the springs are super heavy duty. We'll give you a close up of those look like, but watch this, just stays. Now this, as heavy duty as this is, now a lot of other grill brands are spring assisted, but this is super light and no matter where it's at, it's just gonna stay put. So this is great because you obviously have a very heavy, beefy hood and you can just do whatever the heck you want with it. Easy peasy, no problem there. Okay, <sighs> let's talk about grill grates. Awesome, awesome grill grates. So these are 5 16th, 5 16th, 16th. Someone's gonna correct me on my grammar. You know, it's funny, sometimes I'm doing these grill reviews and someone wants to give me a grammar lesson. It's like, come on, dude, why are you watching the grill video just to correct my grammar? Like, I, I know I'm, I'm not, I don't have perfect grammar. You don't have to tell me, I already know. But if you find something that you want, you're so eager to correct, go ahead and correct me. Um, look at these grill grates. I like how they're sort of shaped diagonally. So when our food is going across it, it's just less chance of falling in. These are patented. There's a ton of patents on this grill. And they say, they give you these little handles here so you can easily lift these out. These are heavy, by the way. And nice wide surface area so we get good sear marks. And what's really awesome is the, they are reversible. So let's say you're going out to cook and you're like, son of a gun, last time I cooked, I forgot to scrape off the grilling surface. Don't fret, all you have to do flip them around, you got a clean surface. And then the bottom side will get cleaned while you're cooking on the top side. So really slick feature, awesome grill grates. And you'll see as we get into this grill, just like the spring assist hood, what annoys me is when someone just brings something to market super fast and it's just like everything else. It's like, okay, that's cool. But this, is such a different grill and it has such unique features. I'm like, wow, these are some cool features. And it kind of sounds like this video is sponsored. It's not, I just like this grill that much. That's how much I like this grill. I like it so much, if I was like, man, I should design my own grill. What features would I want it to have? This, these are the features I would want. This is the grill I want at my house. I might. This might not stay at our showroom too long. It might just disappear one day. It might end up on my patio. I don't know. I'm telling you, this grill is unlike any grill I've ever seen. And it's my favorite grill I've ever seen, hands down. So let's take the cooking grates out. Real quick, before we finish that, let me show you this. So I've talked about it like in my Fire Magic video, if you guys watch that, 
what's really cool about fire magic is how deep the firebox is. His idea is we have depth from our burners, we have depth to our flame tamers, or in this case, the ceramic briquettes, and then our cooking grates. The further away those are, the more even temperature and less hot spots we can create in the grill. Heston is no different. So we have, from our cooking grates, right at two inches. So we have two inch gap from our cooking grates to our ceramic briquettes. So here's our ceramic briquettes. <clears throat> Again, if you've watched my videos, you know that these are not necessarily my favorite because they get dirty. And when grease sits on this, it's flare up city. So even though it promotes even cooking better than like uh, sear diverters or flame tamers or whatever you call them, it does promote even cooking. It's just a hassle because you always have to flip them burn off everything, then flip them back and cook. And you have to make sure that these are always spotless. So you have to maintain them. Heston, again, different than every other brand, has thought of a way around that. So these are perfectly symmetrical. So they're 100% reversible, just like the cooking grates. So that means, just like the cooking grates, before every cook, if this is dirty, right before you start cooking, you just flip them. Then you have a clean surface here, while at the same time, the burners are baking off everything on the bottom side, and again, creating a clean surface, so every time you cook, you just flip everything. Awesome, awesome design. Because when these are clean, they are better. They are more functional. So let's take these out. Oh, you know what I forgot to tell you guys? Not only is there interior lighting in the grill, but look where the lights are. They're actually in the hood. They're, all the competitors, the lighting is in here. And it definitely helps. See that? It just projects light. The light is always in the grill. So the lights are less obstructed when they're in the hood. Again, and just another cool feature. All right, let's get under the hood, Elijah. Come on in. Don't be shy. So here's our burners. Again, you probably noticed right off the bat, unique, right? No other grill brand makes burners like these. By the way, these are patented. So hot surface ignition. So you can see you hold the button in, hot, hot surface igniter. That has two benefits, in my opinion. One, they're, they're more reliable. And then with the hot surface ignition, you don't get a bunch of gas buildup waiting for a spark to hit. And it goes <laughs> I did that in one of my other videos. Am I getting better at it or no? Yeah. Yeah, better. A little bit. <laughs> Anyways, hot surface ignition, best ignition system there is. Let's take a look at these burners. So they, they call these their trellis burners, much like a trellis in a vineyard because they have a vineyard. Heston has a vineyard. They're very bougie, very bougie. Um, here's their burners. Now, they say these are not 304 stainless steel, believe it or not. So they did like a extensive salt test with a bunch of different grades of stainless steel. These are actually 321 stainless. Don't ask me the difference between 304 stainless and 321 stainless. I'm not a scientist, I don't know. Um, all I know is in their testing, the 321 stainless was the most durable and held up the best to salt over long periods of time. And they say the 321 stainless is more expensive than the 304 stainless, but it's a Heston grill Again, bougie, they would only want 321 stainless. I don't want 304 stainless burners, do you? No, gross, gross. You need 321 stainless. Very, very high end. You can tell your friends, my grill is 321 stainless. They're not gonna care. They don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Point is, is it lasts longer. Lifetime warranty. And then, of course, the design of the burners themselves. So look, look at that. When they're in there in unison, I like the coverage. Do you think that those are gonna promote, that trellis style is gonna promote even heat distribution better than a two burner or a U-shaped burner oh, yeah. or an H burner? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's distributing heat. I, I, if you want more even heat than that, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I can't think of a way. So really awesome, awesome design. So here's the one thing you can order different. 
you can do all trellis burners or you can do their trellis burners with a sear station. So their infrared station, what's really cool about it, same price I think by the way, but you can do it one way or the other. A couple things I like with it. One, where's our, our sear station? Here we go. Again, hot surface ignition. You can see that starting to glow right there. But it goes up over a thousand degrees and unlike most infrared heating, it actually turns down to 400. That's not the lowest in the industry, but it's pretty darn close. So um, you can use it for regular cooking too. The problem is sometimes with, when you have some of the competitor sear stations, it basically takes away a chunk of your grill because it just is too hot. You can't get it low enough. 400 degrees, that's low enough. You could throw burgers over it if you wanted to or something like that. But you can use it as a functioning grill. Now these trellis burners are so awesome. I, I wouldn't be upset either way. Whichever way you want to order it, I could, I could see it. I could buy it, you know? What do you think? Definitely. Definitely. Are you listening or are you just videoing? I'm just videoing. You're just videoing? That's what I thought. You just agree with me, don't you? Sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Okay, other thing I like about it is it's fairly narrow compared to the competitors. And I actually think that that's a good thing. Um, because like I said, this is gonna be your bread and butter station. You're not really putting bread and butter here, but uh, this is gonna be your money, money station here. So you don't want this taking up a huge chunk of your grill. You usually have like a, a tri-tip or a couple ribeyes and you don't need a ton of space. So I like that it doesn't take up a ton of real estate and it's a little bit skinnier than its competitors. I actually think that's a good thing. So if you were gonna order this way, I like, I like it in a 42 inch. Um, in a 36 inch, then you're really starting to take up space with an infrared. So if, you're, if you like the infrared option, probably spring for the 42. That way you still have three main burners plus the sear station, if that makes sense. Um, so that's the sear station. Again, you can order that all trellis or the sear station. Now let's get to the rotisserie part, which again is super cool. Let's start with the cooking grates. So same laser etch style cooking grates as our main burner. But you can see we have two levels here. And this is only in the 42 inch where it's split up. If you do a 36 or 30, it's one rack, but you have variable mounting heights on this. So you can sort of set it at different parts. What else is super cool is when you're not using the warming rack, check this out. Boom, hidden, gone, disappeared, sayonara, out of the way. That's pretty cool too. It's cool because it's just, you don't have to throw them in the storage drawers and get your storage drawer all dirty. They can just stay there out of the way. Again, super cool feature. Let me take these out real quick. Also, you might be asking, where's the burner? Where is it? It's on the roof, just like the lights. Now, this does a couple things. One, just gives us more space for our racking system in here. But also, this can also work as like a broil station, which we're gonna test in a minute. When you put food here, it's almost work like a toaster. Like, get your food nice and crunchy. Think it'll work? I think so. But when you're not doing that, then you can just use your regular rotisserie. Now, also, where's our rotisserie rod? I think they forgot to give us one, didn't they? Nope, it's right here. They thought of everything. So it stores right here. So a nice storage station for it. So this will go right here. Also, where is our motor? <laughs> I thought of that too. That's hidden also. So that's on a chain motor. It's really quiet and it's out of the way. It's completely installed underneath the grill. And then you turn it on right here. There she goes. Pretty sweet, right? I mean, am I right? All right, we've seen enough. We know, what, we get the point. All right, I think it's time to hook it up and let's do some live footage. See how well it works, right? 
I mean, we don't normally fire up grills in our demos because we like to keep them looking new so we can always resell them. I think we have to turn this one on. We have to fire it up and put something on the grill, right? Yeah. Yeah, we do. We're gonna do that, so let's do that. All right, I'm excited, let's fire her up. All right, hot sur surface ignition, oh. go. Fuel, engage. Gotta let the line bleed through a little bit. Oh, baby. Woo, let's get them all going. See how gentle they start? You notice that with the hot surface ignition? So you just hold it in for heat. Six or seven seconds. See how that's just gonna promote like nice even cooking? Whew. A lot of heat in there. Oh yeah. How sweet is that? All right, let's shut these off. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna turn our igniter or get our hot surface ignition going. Again, just nice and gentle. Woo. All right, let's actually cook something on here though. I wanna test out this rotisserie system, but using it almost like a broiler for the warming rack. So let's try that. Let's get the old rotis fired up. Same thing, hot surface ignition. See it there? Nice and hot. Engage. Oh, there it goes. Okay, this is on. Now what the heck should we put on here? Oh, I have an idea. We have some pizza rolls, leftover pizza rolls, or garlic knots. See, the thing is, you try to microwave those, they're gonna be all soggy. We don't, we don't want that. So let's see if we can toast them up a bit. You know what we should do? Let's turn this off real quick. We should probably wrap these in foil. We don't want to get them. We don't want to get them all dirty, do we? No. All right, let's put some foil on these. Grab some garlic knots. Okay, so we got the burner on. I'm gonna turn it on. Let's keep it low. Let's see. So. I'm not saying we eat this stuff every day, but let's just see what happens to these leftovers from the pizza place. All right, check that out. Gave us a nice crust on the cheese, nice and crispy. All right, let's try a piece. See if it tastes as good as when you order it at the store. It is crispy. Mm hmm Oh yeah. So that definitely tastes like you were just at a restaurant, like you just ordered it from there. So that makes that rotisserie kit 100 times more functional because you can put all your leftovers on there. I think it'd be awesome for like leftover pizza or something. Or if you're cooking something from scratch and you wanna broil something, uh, like with that top heat, you can do it that way. It made this cheese super crispy. So that rotisserie kit is 100% a game changer. So guys, this is the grill by Heston, my absolute favorite grill. It is not cheap. It is definitely gonna be top tier. If you wanna see, I'm gonna do a separate video and compare it against the other, I'm gonna do a top five luxury grill videos. So our, our luxury brand, anything that's 4,000 bucks and up. This grill is gonna be in there. If you've been listening to me, you probably already know where I'm gonna rank it, but Give you a little hint, this is my favorite grill I've ever seen, I've ever reviewed, hands down my favorite of all time. And the reason is, it's not just because it's an expensive grill, it's because it was engineered to, in a way that is superior with its features. And that's what's important, is we're getting better functionality across the board. Make sure you guys subscribe to our channel, stay tuned for more videos, thanks so much for watching.